In the last episode, we finished weathering the top surface of the Dornier Do 335 scale model in 1 to 48 from Tamiya with oil colors. So now we continue weathering the bottom. If you missed the last episode or clicked the first time on a video from Air and Ground and Scale, I'll invite you to check out the channel where you'll find more videos like this, showing how I build and paint scale models from start to finish. I post almost weekly, but I don't have a fixed schedule, so if you click on the subscribe button and the notification bell, you won't miss any updates. Now on to the bottom of the aircraft. It's almost the same procedure as on the top surface. First I wet the area I'll work on with odorless thinner. Then I paint some sepia oil color from Abteilung 502 in little dots and lines in the corners of panels. And then I immediately start blending these oil dots with a moistened flat brush until they are blurred. The surface is pretty wet while working with oils. Because the last varnish I applied is matte, the oil colors get really absorbed by this surface if you work without thinner. This can leave some stains or dots like I mentioned in the last video. What you don't see in this video is that after several minutes I took a very soft and dry brush and brushed over the surfaces weathered with oil colors to blend them even a little bit more. While working with oil colors and giving some contrast to the panel lines and flaps, I tried to keep some panel lines clean. This creates a nice border between the two parts. After working with the sepia oil color and let it to dry thoroughly, I took the Abteilung 502 faded white and gave some contrast to the center of the panels, making the plane surface more weathered. The application is the same as before, wet the surface and apply some oil dots and lines, but this time I blur the white oil color with a soft round brush in a tapping motion. To finish this step I took again a big soft and dry brush and wiped several times over the oil colors. Simon Schatz Aviation Art commented on the Facebook page of the channel that the lower sides of these aircrafts were unpainted, same as all the other late series planes. Thank you very much for your info, I wish I had it before. I try to get the colors and models historically correct, but I focus more on the artistic approach to scale modeling, so I often stick to the color schemes provided by the scale model manufacturer. I'll ask some pros next time before applying the color scheme. Do you care about historical accuracy of models? Do you think I'm an ignorant concerning this DO 335? Leave some critique in the comments. To complete the weathering with the oil paints, I sprayed a very light coat of semi-gloss clear from Mission Models. The base coat of the model got very dull while the oil colors dried, so with a little bit of gloss the colors got more saturated. But the weathering, especially the chipping, was toned down. With the following weathering steps, like adding smoke stains, it is nice to have a slightly sheen to the model surface. As this is the last time I use the airbrush on this aircraft, I finally could take off the masks from the cowling. Even though I didn't pay much care taking off the masking tape, 
the all cloth held onto the surface. It seems pretty durable. I absolutely use it again for bare metal surfaces. With the AK panel liner wash, I accentuated the panel lines on the bare metal finish. After letting it several minutes to dry, you can easily wipe it off of the glossy surface. Then I painted the gun barrels in a dark grey. Now on to the other small parts of the door 335, this is where I often lose my mojo in finishing my scale models, but not this time. After the wheels are primed with Mr. Surfacer 1500 in black, I mask the rims with the Edward mask I bought. Then I spray a coat of Tamiya rubber black, thinned with tap water or alcohol. I aim for a matte finish. Then with a very diluted red-brown color, like the Tamiya Hall Red, I add some weathering to the tires. Next I dry brush the rims with a light grey oil paint. There is only a little bit of oil paint left in the brush, so you have control how much contrast you want. As you can see it builds up really slowly. The result is more interesting than only a plain glossy black finish. If you want to know what dry brushing is all about, check out these two videos about cockpits which I made for you. The engine grease oil color is applied directly from the tube to the landing gear. Because the chrome silver has a very glossy surface and you can blur it very easily. Now we only have to attach the wheels to the landing gear. We are right in the middle of adding the last few parts, this means the finishing line is in sight. Please tune in to the next and final episode of this DOR 335 series, which is coming soon. Subscribe and click on the notification bell, so you won't miss it. Now enjoy your time at the workbench and see you soon on the last video of this build.